Hi everyone, can you sharpen a pizza cutter with the Torma T1? Let's find out. The Tormac T1 is my favorite power knife sharpener in the kitchen. I use it on all my knives. And I was thinking to myself, I had a dull pizza cutter. I wonder if I could sharpen this on the Tormac T1. Now, while this is not something that probably anybody would recommend you do, I went in and did it anyway to see what the results would be. Now, the Tormac T1 has a beautiful wooden handle. It's actually lightweight to turn around. 600 grit diamond wheel, and you have a power honing wheel, as well as your fixed guide. Now, the thing about the fixed guide that's nice is if you watch my other videos, you'll notice I've sharpened things such as cleavers on here and very large knives that aren't gonna fit into this slot. And how I do this is I actually remove the guide. There's actually a pad here that I take off that holds the magnet. Here's your angle indicator. And that's very important that that stays in the guide. And then we go ahead and put this back on and we're ready to go and use this as a guide to sharpen our wheel. Now, caveat. Do not try this if you're not an experienced knife professional. It is possible you could injure yourself. So as always with anything that is a freehand knife sharpener, you wanna make sure you take your precautions and know what you're doing before you actually engage in the sharpening process. Now with this, we're just gonna sharpen it and we're gonna hone it. Not gonna worry about leather stropping because of course it's a wheel, which would be darn near impossible to strop or would take me forever. So I'm not gonna spend time doing that. But I wanted to show you the process of how I sharpen this wheel. And then we'll go ahead and see if it's actually sharp enough to cut something other than pizza because I don't have any pizza right now. Now I've set this at about nine degrees here on the angle adjustment. It goes from eight degrees all the way on up. We're not gonna go past 10 because I know this is a very, very narrow blade and we're gonna go ahead and see how we can do it. So we'll go ahead and turn this on and I go ahead and turn this around so this wheel is actually going away from you. And I'm gonna go ahead and align this up inside of the guide. I'm gonna slowly work my way around the wheel, being careful not to put my fingers on here, although this is not, it's not sharp. Probably will never be razor sharp, but it's just gotta cut pizza, right? So I'll hold the wheel, I'll support it with my finger, and when we go around, we're gonna start sharpening this and seeing how we do. So I can see here that my angle looks pretty good. I'm just gonna move this around, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this as we do this because this is probably gonna take some time I'm gonna estimate probably a good five minutes probably of going around and actually getting everything taken down on this wheel. And then we'll go ahead and put it on the honing wheel and take off anything that we have that's on the edge of that pizza wheel blade. And we'll turn it over and we'll do the other side. Now you can see this is kind of the original side. This might do the trick. And that is looking really nice. Really happy with that, both sides. And right now, I mean, I got some burr on here. You could absolutely see from that sharpening. So next I'm gonna use the power honing wheel. I'm gonna take that off and get this apex nice and sharp. So again, the honing wheel away from you, all right, like so. Honing wheel's away, like so. Now we're gonna take this, we're gonna actually hone this and get those little, little edges off there from the, the shavings. So I'm just gonna go really light and I can just slowly rotate that wheel. And the honing wheel is doing a beautiful job on it. Now we're all done with this. We're going to take a look at this close up and see how we did. Now Tormac's one of my sponsors for Ukulele J Barbecue. So I want to thank them very much for continuing to support me. Uh, I've had this Tormac actually for quite a while now. And I did this video really to surprise Tormac because I guarantee you they have never seen anybody sharpen a pizza cutter. If they have, I'll eat my words, but I've not seen any pizza cutters ever done with Tormac. And the T1, absolutely did the job. I'm giddy. Um, my pizza peel, it is, it's freaking sharp. I'm gonna get the best tester and see if we can test how sharp it is. I mean, I don't imagine it's gonna be sharp as a knife in like the 300s or something, but you know, it's, it's, it's sharp enough. I do have some pizza dough I'm gonna cut. Let's take a look and see how it does with that. Now we're gonna do the best test, see if this is even sharp, and then we'll cut a piece of pizza dough, see what that does. Here we go. 293, 293. Okay, so our un... Just, just funny that I'm doing this with a piece of pizza dough. I don't know why it's funny, but sorry, it was funny. 
I don't think I've seen pizza dough cutting tests with anything else, but pizza dough for the dogs. You hear them clicking around down there? Oh yeah, they're excited for the pizza dough. So if this is a pizza pizza, it's not hot. But let's see if we just cut it across. Let's see, Where? let's do a test. Oh, damn. That worked really well. There we go. I'm not, even, I'm not impressed, I'm just rolled across it. Oh, ho, ho. wow. How about that? Hey guys, come here. Come here. This is Molly. What do you think? Did it cut the pizza good? Come here. Huh. You know, are you dissing my dough? This is Snoopy. Hey Snoopy, want some dough? Oh, ho, ho, ho. he likes the dough. What a good boy. Mwah. There you go, folks. The dough test, and it passed. Don't forget to search for my other videos on the Tormac T1 and all the things you can do with it, including sharpening a big old cleaver. We've got other things coming as well. So remember, just when you think it's not possible to do something, you can always figure it out. I did that with the Tormac T1. Now I've got a very sharp pizza cutter. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. They're really awesome. Smoke on, baby.